Number 64. Calculate the temperature. The entire sky would have to be in order to transfer energy by radiation at 1,000 watts per meter square, about the rate at which the sun radiates when it's directly overhead on a clear day. This value is the effective temperature of the sky, a kind of average that takes account of the fact that the sun occupies only a small part of the sky but is much hotter than the rest. Assume that the body receiving the energy uh, has a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. All right, so we're talking about radiation. They're asking us to calculate a temperature, and then they give us another temperature. So more than likely, we're using this formula over here, right, about net power. So let's just write that down, all right? So we have net power is going to be equal to the Stefan-Boltzmann constant multiplied by the emissivity, multiplied by the area over which uh, the object is radiating, then multiplied by the temperature difference, right, between the two. So T2 raised to the fourth minus T1, T1 raised to the fourth. All right. So now, first thing is, don't, you know, don't worry, don't get too concerned about where you're going to plug in the temperature. All right, which one should you plug in where? Just plug them in, and then at the end, see if the answer makes sense in terms of the sign. All right? Uh, basically, all we're going to have to consider here is just, if you get like a weird negative sign, just convert it into positive if it doesn't make sense. All right? It's just easier that way. Um, now, the one interesting thing here is that they give us basically... 1,000 watts per meter square, right? So you realize that watt is a power unit, meter square is an area unit. So notice here I have power and here I have area. So before I start plugging in stuff, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to divide out A from the uh, right-hand side. When I do that, that means the A cancels, right? So I'm just going to get rid of it. And that means I'm left with now this equation, basically, right? So it's power over area. But wait a minute, they gave us that. Didn't they just give us power over area? So essentially, this is one variable, okay? Because they gave me that value, watt per meter squared. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the value there, okay? So this is going to be 1,000. That's then equal to the Stefan-Boltzmann constant of 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8, multiplied by the emissivity. Do you know what it is? I don't know what it is. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to just assume 1. And then the temperature difference. So this is going to be T2, let's say, raised to the 4th, then T2 raised to the 4th, then minus uh, 27. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. Right? Just seeing if you're paying attention. we got to convert that into Celsius. So 27 plus 273 is 300. So that's 300 raised to the 4th. And our job here is to calculate T2, and that should be the answer. All right? So why don't we uh, divide this term on over to the left-hand side. So we'll take 1,000 divided by 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8. We realize here we have a value of approximately 1.76 times then 10 to the 10th. will then be equal to T2 raised to the 4th minus 300 raised to the 4th. Add 300 raised to the 4th to both sides. So now I get... 2.57 times 10 to the 10th equals then T2 raised to the 4th. Now to get rid of that 4th power, you have to raise both sides to the inverse of that power, meaning the 1 4th. And then let's see what we get. So this is that value raised then to the 1 4th. So this is about 400, right? 400 Kelvin, that is. Okay, remember the answer is in Kelvin. 400K. So this would probably make sense, right? This should make sense. If I wanted to convert that into Celsius, just subtract 273 from it. So that's about 128-ish. 128 degrees Celsius. So both of these, um, they, they definitely make sense, right? I mean, if the, if the body receiving the energy is 27 degrees Celsius... The only way that this thing could be receiving energy is if the other thing is hotter. So everything sounds good to me. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to subscribe. Give us a hand. We really appreciate it very much. Take care.